Which one should I chomp up? I just can't figure out which one is greater. Wait, I can compare fractions using benchmarks. One half is greater than three eighths because three is less than half of eight. Yum. Hello, I'm Ali and I love eating the largest fractions. The more, the better. I can use the benchmark fraction one half to compare fractions. If the numerator is more than half of the denominator, then the fraction is more than one half. If the numerator is less than half of the denominator, then the fraction is less than one half. I can also use the benchmark one to compare. Any fraction where the numerator and denominator are the same, like three thirds, also represents one. If the numerator is more than the denominator, the fraction is greater than one. If the numerator is less than the denominator, the fraction is less than one. I spy some more fractions now. One half and three fifths. Three is more than half of five so one half is less than three fifths. I will gobble up three fifths. That was delish. Here's some more. Two sixths and one half. Two is less than half of six so two sixths is less than one half. I'll eat the one half. Yummo. That was a tasty one. There are a lot of fractions in this area of the swamp. 7 sixths and 10 tenths. Since the numerator is larger than the denominator, 7 sixths is greater than 10 tenths. Did you notice 10 tenths equals 1? I get to eat 7 sixths. Here's the last one for today. 3 fourths and 4 fourths. 4 fourths is the same as 1 whole. 3 fourths is less than a whole because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. 4 fourths is greater. Time to eat. Wow. My belly is full. Time to go take a nap. Keep working hard comparing those fractions. <laughs>